G'day guys, first up I'm going to assemble this drawer, but before I do that I just want to smooth out the inside just a little bit just to take off any of the roughness from the machine. I don't actually want to remove the machine marks, well I do but I don't want to actually do the work. So I'll just give it a quick swipe with a bit of sandpaper and that'll be good enough. So here I have the draw box dry assembled, a couple of clamps just holding it all together. What I've gone and done, I've gone and drilled four holes into the side of the side panels to, to accept the dowel to go through the side panel and into the front and back panels. I haven't drilled it into the front and back panels yet because I've drilled those over onto the drill press and then I'll pick up my cordless drill and then just using those holes to kind of keep me square and true and straight and whatnot, I'll go straight through. That's the way I like to do it. That's the way I'm going to do it. Here I go, I'm going to do it. So I just set it up in a band clamp so that I can get it get it assembled pretty easily. I can just put a glue in the top hole and the bottom hole, put a, two dowels in, then put it on the bench, put the clamp, proper clamps on top of it, and then I'll go through and put the other dowels in there. So, here we go, nice and easy. So I want to put the clamps as close to these holes as possible without actually putting them on the holes. Then I'll just get these other four dowels in there. And just check it for square. We have fourteen twenty two. Fourteen twenty five. You don't have to get a dead centre square because when I put the draw base in there, the plywood draw base, that will be square cut on the panel saw there and I can flush it up to the front edge there, screw it into there and it holds it square pretty good.
So I went ahead and moved the mattress space over to my other bench because this bench is far more flatter than the other older one. That one's rubbish now. So what I want to do, I just want to put a bunch of screws in and around the outside, sit that in there, a little bit of glue underneath, tough as nails. And it will be these panels that hold this in square. So if I, if I assemble this out of square, it's going to stay out of square. Therefore, I'm going to make sure that I assemble it squarely. I've got 77. Therefore that has to be squished a little bit that way. So if I just eyeball that, oops. That's done it. Perfectly square. And I'm going to put gloves on because I'm about to hurt myself doing this stuff. Alright, so there's the mattress base. That's it's got a little bit of give in there, but it's got enough strength that it'll be able to hold the weight of a baby and probably the weight of a big fat so like me if I was to sit on it and use it as a bench or something like that. So now, I want to clean up these sharp corners because this is a visible corner. I want to give it a bit of flash, bit of, bit of flair, bit of panache. So I'm just going to knock the corners off, hammer and chisel. So there is a lot of regulations in Australia regarding baby cots and children's furniture in general. One of the regulations with the baby cots is that you can have it at, you can have the base at two different levels. So you can have it one one level from the top rail down to the mattress base. It has to be 600 mil or more. I've got 640, so that's good. And when I move that base up to the higher position, when you've got a little baby, you don't want to reach all the way down there, it has to be 400 mil. Now, I'm just going to assume that I've made the measurements correct because I'm not an idiot. One of the other regulations is the distance around, the distance from the, the walls to the edge of the mattress. It can't be more than 20 millimetres. Or it's it's 40 millimetres if it's pushed up to one end and to one side. So 20 mil all the, all the way around. All right, so let's have a look. I've got 12 millimetres along the length. And here I've got, uh, if, I, if I'm generous and kind of squash the, the um, mattress a little bit, you're looking at about 10 mil. So that baby's safe as houses in this cot. It's not going to fall over, rock solid, you can lift it up, beautiful. Place the baby down, pick her up, throw her over your shoulder, dangle her over a balcony like Michael Jackson does. Now as much as I'd like to say that I'm finished, not even close. I still have to shape the top of these properly. I need to get the back panel in, or the back header panel fitted in there to, to match this curve up the top here. Uh, I need to remove any glue squeeze out, any dings and dents, which I probably just put another thousand of them just putting this thing together. 
So I'll have to do that tomorrow. And it's getting late now. And tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday. On Monday, I'm going back to work. So I won't be doing this all day, every day. So there might be a video tomorrow or there might not be. If it's not up there, it'll probably go up Monday or Tuesday. I'll just, I'll just have to edit the footage that I, I'll just have to edit the work that I do on Sunday, on Monday afternoon or Tuesday afternoon. Not too sure, but hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna to get this all cleaned up with finish on there, ready to go. We're getting close now. I think she's gonna give birth within the next couple of weeks, probably. So, just in the nick of time, and then I have to build the chest of drawers and that'll be a following project. Big thumbs up if you reckon this is pretty good. And if you give me a thumbs down because you think this sucks, you have no idea what you're looking at, buddy. All right? All right. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Adios.